Hallelujah. Good morning. This is Pastor Joel Chola from Destiny Chapel and welcome to our Destiny Daily. The passage of scripture that we've been uh, looking at very carefully is from Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Very famous passage of scripture that we quote all the time. You probably can quote it by heart. That and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The writer of this passage of scripture is Paul. And he's writing at a time when he's in dire need, desperate. I mean, he's in a dark place, about to stand trial. He's probably uh, at a place where he's, he's having a lot of luck, a lot of challenges. Then a church in Philippi that has been standing with him ever since he began his ministry remembered him. And he, he, he opens a window for us to understand something very critical concerning giving because he says that the need that I have was an opportunity for you to put credit into your account. We looked at that a couple of days ago. Now today I want you to think about this for a minute with me. The precision with which God provided for Paul in that the believers sent gifts through somebody and it got to Paul. And when I started thinking about this scripture, I realized many times God uses people to meet our needs. God uses people to meet our needs. None of us lives on an island. None of us lives isolated on an island. If you lived alone on an island, probably you would be dead by now. But in this space that God has given us to live as believers, we are connected. Our lives are connected one with another. And so none of us can ever claim that we can stand on our own without the need of others, without the, the, the supply of others. Listen to this statement. I read a story recently of a very, very sick lady who was on board a ship. This is a true account of what happened. Listen to what it says. It says, this believing woman was traveling somewhere in the United States and she became so seasick that the ship's doctor ordered that she be given nothing except oranges lest she dies so we have this believing woman who's on board a ship somewhere in the united states and she's ordered that she can eat nothing but oranges then in a few days the steward of the ship came to her with some very sad news and said that the supply of oranges was exhausted and disturbed I love it. The believing woman replied these words, My father knows my need and he will undertake to care for me. Surprised, the steward of the ship looked at her and said, Ma'am, do you realize that we are in the middle of the ocean? And she replied back to him, My father is able to open a window in heaven if it is necessary. A few hours later, the steward of the cabin, of the ship, returned to her cabin with his arms full of oranges. I know you're wondering, how did God do it? <laughs> he looked at her and said, your God has surely supplied your need. How did it happen? The sick woman inquired from him. He said, well, I don't know that you had, but late last night there was a siren from a ship nearby that was in distress. The ship was in such distress because of a storm that had thrown it off course. And when it lost its bearing, it ran out of its supplies and ran out of fresh water. So they sent out a May Day and we responded because we have plenty of fresh water. And after supplying them with water, the captain of the ship said we have nothing to offer you other than oranges they had stacks and stacks of oranges so they gave oranges in return for fresh water but here's the kicker that supply of oranges was specifically because of that believing woman that's why paul confidently says my god shall supply all your needs he knows your address 
He knows what you need. Even if you're in the middle of the sea, on a ship, sick and taking your last orange, he can supply tons of oranges for you. I'm so excited because I serve a God who is alive. I serve a God who knows me. I serve a God who knows what I need. And so this morning, if you're at a place of need, I want you to know that God says, even the hairs on your head are numbered, and he knows that number. God says that he looks out for sparrows, birds of the air. How much more valuable are you, a child of God? So just like this woman who was on the sea and was sick, and could only take oranges to stay alive, God will keep you alive in this season, even in the middle of the storm. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will supply a supernatural miracle for every person that is in need this morning. Lord, we stretch our faith like this precious woman of God and say, Lord, you know our need. You know exactly what we need. You know exactly where we live. And Father, we trust you for a divine delivery that will meet our need. Your word says you shall supply our needs and it is according to your riches. And Lord, you own the cattle on a thousand hills. Every need that we have, you can meet and you will meet. So I thank you, Lord, that in Jesus' name, every need is supplied to every person listening under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.